You know, Mr. Speaker, I stand here in this moment so emotional as I listen to the testimony of my colleague, Catalina Cruz. And as I listen to the awesome sponsor of this legislation defend this bill, and all the other testimonies from my colleagues in this chamber, I'm emotional because of who I am. I'm emotional because of who I represent. You see, I hail from the borough of Brooklyn in the 43rd AD where we have a large population of Caribbean Americans and Caribbean immigrants, as well as people from Latin countries, Asian countries, so on and so forth. What I love about the beauty of my district is that we are a melting pot and a true reflection of America. I am a daughter of immigrants. I am the granddaughter of immigrants. When my family migrated here to the United States of America in the 40s, it was by happenstance that my grandmother, who is Dominican, by the way, had birthrights here in the US. And for that, although she married a man from St. Martin, they were able to bring the two of them and their eight children along with them, one of them being my mother. But had that not been the case, had my grandmother not at that time had a birthright to America, what would have been the story for my family? What would have happened to us? Well, guess what? It was turmoil back in our native land. And guess what? They were going to come to America anyway. The same America that opened its doors on Ellis Islands to those immigrants were going to open the doors to my family. But guess what? We got lucky. We got lucky by the combination of how my family was configured. And I am not a dreamer. But you know what, Mr. Speaker? When I was in school, I sat next to dreamers every single day. I watched the level of anxiety that my classmates had, whether they were going to be found out, deported. You know, I watched the struggle, the struggle of basic needs like transportation, like food, and all because they want to what? They want to excel and move further in this American society and take advantage of the dreams that we told them they could find here. I've watched so many people, and I'm a strong proponent of education. If anyone knows me, they'll tell you that. I went to Mega Evers College, and I watched so many people drop out of college because they could not further finance their way through receiving a higher education. So what kind of America is this? When we tell you, we'll take care of you now from pre-K to 12, but when you wanna go get an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree to further yourself and further pour economically into this society, the earth, the road stops there. Well, you know what? I wanna commend Senator Jose Peralta because he had a dream. And when it wasn't favorable, he walked around in this chamber and he championed that piece of legislation. I wanna thank all of my colleagues who stood up in this chamber and testified and shared your stories and spoke in your native tongue. Because to all the other colleagues who don't get the point, this is what New York looks like. This is what America looks like. And as we are going to pass this DREAM Act today, we are going to create access, education access, for so many people who deserve the right to just learn. And with that, I vote in the affirmative.